Hey, 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 what's up guys? Hey, 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 hey. Hello students, good day once again. This is Sir Boyet, your science teacher. And welcome to my channel. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe now and hit the bell button so that you will be notified to the next video's update. Thank you! Our topic is to distinguish mixtures from substances based on set of properties. Matter is anything that occupies space and it has mass. There are two types of matter. The pure substance that is made of only one type of materials and the mixture that is a physical combination of two or more substances. Example of pure substance is water. An example of mixture is vegetable salad. Mixture is the physical combination of two or more pure substances. Mixtures are substances that consist of two or more types of matter. Air, soil, garbage, concrete are different examples of mixtures. of mixtures there are two different types of mixtures heterogeneous homogeneous the words heterogeneous and homogeneous have latin prefixes which mean homo means same and hetero means different a mixture involves physical combinations of two or more different substances whose amount may greatly vary. Homogeneous means the same or means one. One, wait, you can see one face. Therefore, you cannot see the different parts of the mixture. In heterogeneous means different. Many. You can see many faces. Therefore, in heterogeneous, you can see the different parts of the mixture easily. Mixture, homogeneous, heterogeneous. Homogeneous also called solution. Two or more substances mixed with uniform distribution. It has only one face. Particles are uniformly distributed, while heterogeneous not evenly mixed, more than one phase, easily separated physically, and ununiformly distributed particles. Ah, a system or mixture is homogeneous when the parts appear as a single face homogeneous mixture and it is heterogeneous when the parts appear as two or more faces heterogeneous mixture types of mixtures mixtures can be further grouped into three namely solution colloid and suspension Solution, homogeneous mixture. All particles are evenly distributed. It may be appear as solid, liquid, or gas. An example of homogeneous mixture is salt water. So seawater is a homogeneous mixture of salt and water. And now we're going to make 
a solution using salt and water. And now you can see only one face. The solution is a homogeneous mixture. It is clear and transparent. Colloid exhibit thin dull effect or scattering of light. This time we're going to make a colloid. A colloid is a heterogeneous mixture that will exhibit thin dull effect. This time we're going to use milk. and a food color this is really for this thing for Tindal effect so lights off Suspension, the particles of suspension, for example, sand and water, are relatively large and are visible to the naked eye. These particles usually settle on standing, which is a proof that it is influenced by gravity. Moreover, the rate of settling is dependent on size particles. We can see that the particles settle down at the bottom of the container because the particles are big enough to settle down this mixture is called suspension this is a heterogeneous mixture the particles are big enough to settle down at the bottom of the container. Components of mixtures are often easy to separate. Some of the common methods of separating mixtures Evaporation, filtration, decantation, extraction, flotation crystallization, sifting, and magnetic separation. First, evaporation. Volatile components is removed by evaporation, leaving non-volatile components behind. Now, let's heat, boil, and evaporate. Application Mixtures with non-volatile solute dissolved in solutions. Next is filtration. Use a filtering medium such as filter paper or cloth. Application Mixtures consisting of insoluble solid and liquid. Next is decantation. Settling heavy solids and pouring off the liquid.
components with bigger particles will settle down. Next is extraction. Use of extracting solvents like water, oil, and ethanol or ethyl alcohol. Application mixtures with components which is more soluble in the extracting solvents. Flotation consisting of blowing air into the mixture. The light components float with the air bubbles and scoop out. Mixtures whose components have different densities. Now let's go to crystallization. Soluble components crystallize out of hot solution. Then by cooling, it will recrystallize. Mixtures whose components have varying solubility. Next is sifting. Use a sifter for sifting, especially one for powder, large particles from smaller ones. To separate and retain the coarse parts of flour ashes and sand. Now let's go to magnetization or magnetic separation. Use a magnet. Take advantage of magnetic property of one component. application mixtures with one magnetic property other components are non-magnetic all pure substances are homogeneous because they are made up of only one kind of matter the characteristics of different samples of a pure substance are the same because all pure substances have a definite composition for instance, the water here, here on earth will have the same characteristics as the water in different parts of the universe. Why is this so? This is because water in any part of the universe is always made up of water molecules having two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The boiling point of water is constant. If you will boil water at sea level, it, its boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius in the same way that the melting point and freezing point of water is always 0 degrees Celsius. Unlike mixtures, the boiling points and melting points of pure substances are definite. Given two unlabeled samples one with water substance and the other a mixture of salt and water you would not be able to distinguish one from the other just by looking at them there are mixtures that are homogeneous which may be mistaken as substances all pure substances have uniform appearance or homogeneous some mixtures are also homogeneous being so, it is difficult to distinguish mixtures and substances based on appearance.
However, there are ways to tell if a sample is a mixture or a substance. The temperature of liquid mixture varies during boiling, but the liquid substance, it does not. Mixture has wide range of boiling temperature, while a pure substance has constant boiling temperature. During boiling, the temperature of a substance changes at the start, then it becomes the same, while the temperature of mixture is different at different times. During melting, a substance melts completely smoothly within a short time, while mixture has portions that seem not to be or not to be melt. Pure substances are always homogeneous. Pure substances are made up of only one kind of matter. Pure substances have definite composition. Pure substances have definite melting and boiling point. Now, let's check your understanding. Good luck! Bye.